I finally have an army for Age of Sigmar. I painted up these 90s style Raver Oryx in fluorescent pinks and greens and took them to the Throne of Skulls doubles event at Warhammer World. I did a video a while back on how I came up with the scheme but a lot of people asked me for a recipe for the scheme itself so here you go. So as usual in my videos I've already started from a zenithal highlight. I've gone particularly heavy on the white because I want to get some really bright tones over this and what I'm doing is using some Chimera Colors Magenta, uh, watered down quite a bit and just covering the entire thing first of all. This is going to be our base colour for the whole of the armour. Next I'm going to take some dark Prussian blue and I'm going to sketch in all the shadows. I'm being as rough as I can with this, just literally trying to work out where there's no light falling. Uh, the blue with the pink is going to add a little to the uh, luminosity of the model, just the vibrancy of it in general. I'm also going to use the blue to base coat all of the Oryx skin parts. Next I'm taking some Procryl White Blue and I'm going to sketch in all the areas that light will be hitting. Um, now I'm going for a very non-metallic metal feel on this armour, even though I'm not doing all the blending necessary to get that result. So the trick here is going to be to place the light in the right places that can fool the eye into thinking there's much more detail than there is. I'm going to build this up with lots and lots of brush strokes because I want to capture that rough, graffiti, sketchy style that is very much what I associate with the era. Next I'm going to go back to that Chimera Magenta, this time watered down so much it's transparent and I'm just going to cover it over all of the pink armour. This is going to be like a filter to smooth down some of the layers we put previously. It's not like proper blending, um, it's going to be very rough still, but we just want to build up some texture, just different brush strokes going on. While that's drying I'm going to take some Caspian Blue and I'm going to base all the parts that I want to be in fluorescent green with this colour. Um, that includes all of the metal, uh, obviously chain mail, also all the skulls and uh, just little bits and pieces around the model. Now I mix some of that Chimera Magenta with the white blue to make this light pink. I'm then going to go around and highlight all over again. Again, leaving as many brush strokes as possible, um, but this time it's more subtle than going straight to the white. I'm going to keep building them up all over the armour. Then I move to the white blue and I'm going to do the same thing just a lot more carefully and now I want to be thinking about where the real specular highlights on something that's metal would hit. Ok, 
Okay, now we're going to the skin. And what I've done is taken that dark Prussian blue and I've mixed in some Vallejo Emerald 50-50. And I'm just gonna start giving it rough highlights. And these first ones, I'm just literally picking out all of the areas that aren't in darkest shadow. And this is quite rough. Uh, and then I come in with the pure emerald and I'm just gonna highlight again. Being a little more selective, just getting the raised areas, but I'm not really spending too much effort on uh, making it neat or tidy at this point. Okay, now I mix some sunny skin tone in with that emerald and I'm going to be a little bit more meticulous with the highlights here. See, I'm just taking my time, focusing on the areas that are catching the most light, but not spending a million years blending. This is still very quickly. I think this whole piece takes me just around an hour to finish and that's including basing. Finally I take some pure sunny skin tone and I'm just going to use this on the head. I'm not going to bother using it on the uh, exposed bits of arms or the neck or that. This is just to hit those highest highlights, get the lips done um, and just bring some definition and focus to the face. Okay, time to highlight all of the parts that are gonna be fluorescent green. So what I've done is I've done like a two to one mix of Caspian blue to white blue. And I'm going to start sketching out all the light on the blades. Now I'm just using my standard knowledge of how light reflects on blades for this. It's not particularly neat and uh, you know if I was spending a lot of time over it it would be more accurate but I'm just trying to capture the spirit of it like I've said previously. Um, I'm also going to use this to highlight obviously the chain mail um, and all of the uh, skulls and bits like that. After I've done that I make um, a, a one to two mix of the Caspian blue that I e with a bit more of the white blue and I'm just going to go over those again and I'm going to use actual like three stages of highlighting for these parts because it doesn't really take you that long to be honest and it just it adds a, a little bit more detail to this even if you know the edges between the colors are still fully visible I finally take the pure white blue and I'm going to do one more hit just getting those really bright specular highlights that will hit the weapons. Next I take some Mournfang Brown and I'm going to pick out stuff like the straps that um, I, I, I don't want to be green. I'm also going to pick out teeth and uh, nails um, and any bits of fur that are on some of these sculpts. Then I'm going to highlight those teeth and nails with some sunny skin tone. Next it's time to do edge highlights and I'm going to use one edge highlight for everything. It's going to be that white blue and I'm going to go all around every part of the model that I think needs it. Also while I'm doing this I'm painting any icons that I want to be fluorescent green or orange um, in, in that white blue. I wouldn't usually recommend going straight for white for your edge highlights. Uh, it, you can lose a lot of subtlety doing that and it will stand out like a sore thumb. But since this is all about hitting you in the face with bright colours, I think it works pretty well. Plus, it's super quick.
Now everything's edge highlighted, I'm going to water down some yellow fluorescent from Vallejo Mecha Color. Um, I'm going to use this over all of the bits that I did in Caspian Blue. So this is all of those metal parts and sometimes uh, I will use a second coat of this just to really reinforce those fluorescent colours. I'm going to take some black acrylic ink and I'm going to do a bit of black lining just to separate some areas that might still be a bit messy. Remember we didn't spend a lot of time on shading and highlighting so uh, a black outline is going to add to that cartoony look but also give us the definition we're missing. Some of the icons I painted in white earlier are now going to get some orange fluorescent from the same uh, Vallejo Mecha colour range. Now that's the whole thing done, so I move on to the base. Uh, I'm just going to coat the whole base in Mournfang Brown. I dot some of that dark Prussian blue in while it's drying, just in a few patches. And I also get a bit of that fluorescent green in on the grass. You can see this is so messy, uh, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it in snow in a minute. I give it a highlight of sunny skin tone, just really roughly over brushing, not even dry brushing really. I'm just giving it um, a, a good heavy coat. Then I add some of that white blue to it and give a slightly more selective dry brush, but not really. Then I'm going to use some of these AK Interactive Snow Sprinkles. I'm going to uh, work it into all of the base and uh, remember to uh, brush it against some of those little tufts I've got there so it catches nicely in the ends of them. Once I've given that a good solid coat, I'm going to take these snow micro balloons and I'm just going to pour them over and shake off the excess. Uh, it doesn't say this stuff is hazardous at all but you might want to use a respirator because uh, it throws up a lot of fine powder when you're using these. And that is the whole scheme. Like I said it's super quick. Uh, if you feel motivated to give this a try be sure to let us know on social media. We'd love to see it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go.